quick YouTube video just based on the uh, the timing that I did on the TSI engine uh, the other day it was the uh, the ACT one. Now you still need to use the tool even if it doesn't have ACT, which I will show you in a second. Um, this car has come to us from another garage uh, with running problems after they've done a timing belt. Now I'm going to show you the issue uh, just by using the Tipex marks and uh, without using the proper tool. I'm going to show you the issue and then uh, why I advise massively to use the correct tool. So it's just a TSI engine, it's a 1.4. So it hasn't got the ACT, but it still requires the electronic timing tool, which is that one there, to be used while timing the vehicle up. Now I can see there's, there's timing marks that have been used. Now, according to the timing marks that you, sit, that you do see, this has been done by the previous, or the other garage, should I say. The timing marks line up, but that's not the problem. So as you've seen, they are lining up. But that's the, that's where the vehicle's at at the moment. And if I show you the specifications, so we're allowed up to plus three on the exhaust, which is plus seven and a half, so it's miles out. And then on the inlet, you can have up to minus two. But yeah, it's not too terrible. It's minus 2.2, but it's still out of, to out of tolerance. So, as you can see, they're the specs that the vehicle's come to us. That is effectively why it's running rough, due to it being males at a tolerance. So I'm gonna do the timing off the camera, because you've seen the timing done already in the previous video, which I will link on this. And then I'll do you a quick snippet after, just what the timing should look like after I've turned it over twice on the tool. So, just to show you what's going on, this is the, uh, the final bit. I've done the timing, which involves unlocking the brakes that are on the timing tool, which do hold the cams in position, and then the 13s on the rear, just to adjust it while the belt is off, and then we can pop the belt on in its natural position. So that's what we're left with. Minus 1.9 on the inlet, which is in spec, and then 0.3 on the exhaust, which again is in spec. So what we do, undo the tensioner and then we use a big bar just through the wheel onto the crank fully there make sure everything's tight we take the crank stop tool out which if you see on my first video it's just down there and then uh, we spin it over pin it all back up and it is exactly how you see it there so this engine is timed up to Volkswagen specifications so there it is timed up to spec this is why uh, we advise we use the, the correct tools for things like this. It's becoming more and more of a common thing. Um, now the vehicle technology is advancing, these tools are going to be more and more common. So the standard pins and bars aren't going to be able to cut it anymore, which is why we use the electronic tool. It's absolutely spot on and we can see physically it's absolutely spot on to the specifications led by the uh, manufacturer. So I hope this has been informative and I will link the other video into this one just to show you uh, what I mean with the... Um, the original video so it sort of ties together if you like so uh, i hope this has been a big help and the the company that we've done this for i hope we found it massively informative as well just what we do and what we're setting so thank you and catch you in a bit